In German, machen. In Spanish, hacer. In my native Ukrainian, robete. Most languages have just one word for this. But in English, it can be make or it can be do. And which one is correct isn't always obvious for learners of the language. So today, let's sort this one out so that we can use these verbs correctly and confidently. To make usually means to create, build, or construct. Making something usually produces something new and tangible. For example, you could make a dress, make a sculpture, make a map, make a snowman, or make a sandcastle. To do usually means to perform an activity or a task. Doing something typically does not produce anything new. So for example, you could do a dance, you could do sit-ups, do a cartwheel, do an evaluation, or do a crossword puzzle. Do you see now how in these cases you would not make a dance or make sit-ups and conversely you would not do a dress or do a sandcastle? Related to these basic definitions now, make commonly means to prepare any meal or type of food or drink. For example, you could make breakfast, make a sandwich, make some tea, or if you would rather make a martini. And do commonly means to perform work of any kind. For example, you could do your homework, do housework, do the dishes, or do some research. Quick aside, do we all know the difference between homework and housework? Homework is school-related work students have to do outside of class. And housework is things like vacuuming, dusting, laundry, and so on tasks that are also known as chores. But this does not mean working on the house, such as with things like painting, plumbing, electrical, roofing, and so on. Both make and do also appear in numerous common expressions. For example, you could make friends, make money, make sense, make a mistake, make plans, make sure, make room, make a mess, make a choice, make a comment, make a sound, or make progress. Note that these are not exactly idioms. If you think about it, in these examples, you are not really physically creating some objects, but you are in a way adding something to your life or to the situation. So you're not necessarily printing the actual paper money, but you are bringing money into your possession. You're not acting like Dr. Frankenstein and creating new beings to be your friends, but you are adding friends to your life. With do, you could do business, do someone a favor, do good or do harm, do a good job or do a bad job, do your hair or do your makeup, do your best, do drugs or do an intervention. Note that do good here is not just the grammatically incorrect version of do well, in the expression to do good, good is a noun, the direct object of do. So the expression means to do things that are good. Finally, there is one more use particular to make. To make can also mean to force or cause someone to do or be something. For example, you could make your boss happy. You could make the kids go to bed. You could make things difficult, make it last make me feel alive, or make your presence known. So this sums up the basic uses of and distinctions between the verbs to make and to do. Has this video done any good for your ability to make sense of using make and do correctly? Let's find out. Would it be correct to make or do the following things? A paper hat, a backflip, a loud noise, a nice profit, a magic trick, trouble, a guitar solo, a lap around the track, good decisions, an error, surgery, a commitment, a to-do list, space, her nails, a pitcher of lemonade, algebra problems, some gardening, some suggestions, a photo shoot, photo editing, a photo album, a photocopy, cocaine, a hotel reservation, a banana split, the splits, a Ford out of blankets, a fist, 
the right thing. And now here's the answers. You can pause the video to read through them. Note that it's more common to say cause trouble, but if our choices are make or do, make trouble is also valid and used in English. Note that a doctor does surgery and a patient has surgery. A photo shoot is the event during which a photographer takes or shoots pictures of a model. Both the photographer and model would be correct in saying something like, I'm doing a photo shoot today. Note the difference between making and doing when it comes to drugs. To do a drug is to ingest it. To make a drug is to produce or manufacture it. Thus, for cocaine, we can't really make it since it's naturally occurring. But we could make or do synthetic drugs. It might seem counterintuitive to make a fist, but we make a fist because we create a new implement or device, even though we do so by simply rearranging our fingers. So, how did you do? Did anyone get all 30 correct? Did anyone learn any new vocabulary? Feel free to respond in the comments. One last thing. Both make and do appear very commonly in many phrasal verbs and idioms, which are not a part of this video. But don't let that make you sad. When I make videos on these topics, I'll make sure to do my best so that you can make progress in your English proficiency. And that is Alex behind the scenes. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye and subscribe.